Welcome to the city's Excel universe. This massively multiplayer city builder will allow you to create the city of your dreams, be it a financial metropolis or a pretty little agricultural backwater. To help you achieve this, Cities XL will provide you with all the tools you need, such as the construction of streets, avenues and boulevards. You will be able to build bridges in a variety of lengths and widths to link up residential and commercial areas on opposite sides of a river, not to mention tunnels. Roads in Cities XL don't simply let your citizens move around within the city, they also connect your creation to the rest of the world. Your citizens can then head off on vacation and your companies can trade with other cities. In addition to roads, you can also build airports and a network of seaports. Citizens and companies will only move to your city if public services and infrastructure meet their needs and desires. To achieve this, you can define the areas where you want citizens and companies to set up, either by letting the game help you optimize the available space or by placing buildings one by one for total control. Your first citizens will arrive quickly. Later on, you will be able to manage precisely the education and wealth levels of the population categories you wish to attract, from unqualified workers to the elite. You can also control building density by deciding to construct neighborhoods of either suburban housing or apartment complexes. Once your citizens have a roof over their heads, you must meet their other needs. Employment is the main one covering a variety of sectors, such as agriculture, which will generate food, industry, which will produce all sorts of goods, but also create pollution, or even the tertiary sector, which will provide the services needed for high-level economic growth. Your citizens' and companies' satisfaction levels are at the heart of your city's economic growth. Don't forget that it's the private sector that pays the taxes which increase your budget. These taxes can be reinvested in the public services that are needed to keep your citizens happy. These include security, health, and education services. A city with a healthy budget can invest in its environment by building public parks and various types of monuments that will attract tourists. Cities XL also provides you with a mine of information to help you manage the different problems that may arise as your city develops. For example, regular alerts from your advisors will highlight the budgetary or social issues that need to be addressed. You can also display some of your decision's zones of influence on the city, such as population satisfaction levels, pollution, or the effect of your investments in education. Journey times have a direct impact on your citizen satisfaction levels and on the efficiency of your public services. You can use this information to make whatever decisions are necessary, investing in highways for example. If you prefer working with data and numbers, Cities XL will also provide you with tables and panels full of detailed information. For the general population, you will be given unemployment rates and a detailed breakdown of satisfaction levels for every sector. You'll see which companies are doing well and which aren't. Finally, with regard to your city's budget, a detailed analysis of your expenditure and an in-depth breakdown of the taxes you are levying on your citizens and companies. You can also take up loans to complete your projects. The trade panel will show your city's surpluses and shortages with regard to resources. These are represented by tokens, you can use these tokens to trade with other players if you subscribe to the Planet Offer. But we'll deal with that in the next video. Cities XL, what kind of mayor will you be?